What's going on everyone? And welcome back to another video. Or if this is your first time checking out the channel, thank you for tuning in and hopefully you learn something new. If you do, feel free to subscribe to show your support and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a video. So you may have noticed there's a new emerging threat on the Sea of Thieves ocean. Now I'm not going to go into detail about what these are because I'm sure you've seen it a million times before, but just for a very quick rundown, these ships have been summoned by Flameheart himself, they come in multiple waves and they shoot three different types of new cannibals. I mean, I guess that's a cannibal, <laughs> I don't know. Phantoms? Whatever. Anyway, they shoot a hell of a lot of spooky dookies that do a lot of damage if they get in the wrong spot. First of all, you have the basic phantom cannibals. You can think of them like normal cannibals that we used to, and you'll get around okay. You have the red variant of them. They will inflict fire damage upon your ship. And finally, we have a new type of cannon called Wraith Bulls. Now, these ones are a little bit different. They essentially look like skulls. They will inflict one giant hole and a bunch of small little holes surrounding it as well. This also does a lot more damage to your person than the normal cannibals. So with the basic setting stone out of the way, let's talk about how you can do this solo. Everything I just mentioned is going to help you with this video and it's also important to note although we are catering towards solo crews this can be related to duo crews trio crews and just full galleon crews either way you will learn something that will help so the best way to describe it is each individual ship functions like a bit of a glass cannon but as a whole it makes it pretty powerful each ship can be taken down with three successive cannon shots this can be anywhere on the ship and that'll effectively eliminate one from existence although if you do come across one of the leader ships which have a flag on top of them you'll look at around 10 shots to sink them now this is pretty easy if you can get a broad side on them because all ships do run in a pact if you can broadside one of them it's very likely you'll be able to broadside the rest now although that is the case do not get overconfident overconfidence is the one thing that's going to take you down in these battles the best way to get this done is by scheduling and planning out your attack so essentially set small goals aim to take down two ships that are fairly close to each other get your ship in a nice position so you can only have a chance of being fired upon by them and focus on those targets. Breaking this up into small sections is the most effective way to get through it. You don't want to go ahead and take on any ship you can whenever it comes close to you. That's very ineffective and will see you running out of supplies fairly quickly. Focusing on your targets before going to attack them is the best way to move forward. Finding capable sections and taking them down is the best way to get this done. Now, keeping your supplies up is going to be the main challenge. If you are doing this solo and you're on a sloop, you are luckily on one of the hardest ships to sink. You can keep a ship up infinitely by continuously bailing. You won't have any issues. Utilizing the free sequence of holes the sloop gives you is very effective in this situation. You can essentially stand by the stairwell and continuously bail water outside from the little hatch. Prioritizing holes is another big thing you're going to want to do as well. If you have some tier 3 holes down the bottom, it is much more wise to patch them up before you patch up the tier 3 holes along the back. Although with that being said, if you do have a cracked sail and a cracked helm, prioritize getting that sail and helm fixed over fixing up those two holes. As I said, if you are on a sloop, it is the easiest one to keep alive. Infinitely bail and you will be okay. With that being said though, it's important to note every time you sink a ship, you have a chance of them dropping supplies. So do keep track of the locations of all the ships you've sunk. There may be something there that can give you more planks and more cannibals. Although for the most part, that's the basics of keeping your ship alive. I'm sure you can adapt that in any way that you feel fit. Circling back to the main point that I want you to take away from this video though, because this is a waved base battle, prioritize some smaller steps and work towards chipping away the big final goal. Don't charge the entire fleet head on. Instead, pick it out from the outside find some small ships you can take down and slowly whittle away the numbers. With the knowledge of them only taking three shots to sink, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to work out this method and use it in any situation you come across. Not only is this, in my opinion, the safest and most effective way to solo these battles, I do believe it's the best on your resources. Strategically planning your attack will always get you further than going in blindly with power and speed. So, with all of that out of the way, if this video did help you in any way, feel free to leave a like to show your support, that really helps out the channel and gets this video recommended to more people. Also, if you like this type of video and want to see more type of videos like this, feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you can be notified every time I upload a video. If you do have any useful tips or I've forgotten something, it'll be down in the comment section. So feel free to have a look and post something in there if you wish. Also, I do stream on Twitch and I'm fairly active on Twitter and Instagram. If you'd like to follow me, just search at the cynical on any social media, you will find me. With that being said, thank you for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.